Cody Rhodes is making some new comments about his plans for the Winged Eagle WWE title. So we'll see what's new there. We'll also check out who wants a forbidden door match with Mercedes Monet, Dominic Mysterio, and much more. Let's start things off with Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Fans love to joke around about long-term storytelling in pro wrestling, and well, it doesn't get more long-term than Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Rey brought Dominic up since a very young age around the pro wrestling scene, and as many fans are well aware of, Dominic has a big major role in a WWE television storyline at the unbelievable age of only 8 years old. Majority of fans at that age are still watching from home, but Dominic was right in the ring with Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio, having major impacts and effects on the storyline. And like Dominic even said in a recent interview, he feels like that early mid 2000s storyline that he was a part of was basically Eddie and his father, planting the seeds for him to become a wrestler without him even knowing. That little taste of everything that he got when he was eight eventually led to his desire to wrestle full time when he got older. And just look at everything that happened since right around 2019. Dominic Mysterio goes from sitting ringside to accompanying his father to the ring, to all the way to making his official WWE debut against Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. Also, like Dominic revealed, he wasn't even fully signed to WWE during his first match. It was all short-term deals on a show-to-show -show basis, until he eventually got fully signed shortly after that. And even more success followed, such as Dominic and Rey Mysterio becoming the first ever father-son duo to win the tag team titles, which was huge. And it was something that Rey Mysterio said meant way more to him than any world title win. And things went smoothly for Rey Mysterio and Dominic in WWE until late 2022, when Edge started to come between them. Dominic didn't trust Edge, especially after Edge had spent the previous few months leading the Judgment Day. But Rey continued to listen to Edge over his own son, and that eventually led to Dominic's big heel turn at Clash of the Castle. And from there on, the story was all about Dominic and Judgment Day beating down Rey Mysterio, all while Rey didn't want to fight back against his own son. Rey was nearly about to retire to get away from the nonsense with Dominic, but Triple H peacefully shifted Rey over to SmackDown instead. But like we've been talking about, WWE is still continuing Dominic and Rey's storyline in smaller ways. You had the few attacks on Rey's home from Dominic and Rhea Ripley, you had Rey Mysterio calling out Dominic for his fake prison act. And now, Royal Rumble gave us another small but significant update to their story. Rey Mysterio had a whole segment on SmackDown about how he was declaring for the Royal Rumble and how he planned on winning the match. But the only problem was that when Rey's number was called during the Royal Rumble match, he didn't come out. The music played for a while, but eventually turned off. The following entrant was no other than Dominic Mysterio, who had Rey Mysterio's mask in his hands, and was ripping it up on his way to the ring. Now, they didn't show us any actual footage of Dominic attacking Rey, but Dominic having that mask in his hands was clearly implying that Dominic was responsible for why Rey Mysterio couldn't come out for the Royal Rumble. In reality, reports say that Rey suffered a last-second injury, so that's why they had to cover up his absence with implying that Dominic attacked him. But it may be another blessing in disguise that Rey missed the match, because the moment of Dominic walking up to the ring and tearing up the mask was great for their current story. Dominic attacked Rey backstage, ruining his Royal Rumble appearance and once again disrespecting the family mask. This may all give Rey even more reasoning to take the gloves off and fight Dominic. Early reports claim that Rey Mysterio vs. Dominic Mysterio could still take place at WrestleMania 39. And the longtime rumor, given the current circumstances around the storyline, is that the mask and Rey's career may be on the line against Dominic. They already made great history together as tag team champions, but a potential high stakes WrestleMania match against each other sounds just as great. So we'll see if that match does end up taking place 
at WrestleMania 39 after all. Mercedes Monet has been creating an entire new buzz for herself ever since making her first post WWE appearance at Wrestle Kingdom. Like Mercedes even said herself, she's going on a world tour and competing all over the world in the near future. Well, WWE superstar Maya Yim appears to want one of the first cracks at Mercedes. Maya Yim recently spoke with Wrestling Inc. and had this to say about the idea of competing in New Japan and having a dream match with Mercedes. Quote, I've wrestled in Japan many, many times, but I've always wanted to wrestle for New Japan, so that is on the bucket list. So AJ, Carl, make sure you bring me next time. I'm still offended who didn't. Mercedes is definitely a dream match, for sure." End quote. So no one knows what the future holds. Of course, everyone is hopeful that Mercedes will return to WWE one day down the line. But if that doesn't happen, it looks like everyone could face her in New Japan and the other promotions that she'll be a part of. The current WWE title designs have been in place now for a handful of years but a large majority of fans still prefer the look of the classic titles over the modern day looks. One of the biggest conversation starters about this topic in WWE is Cody Rhodes. Ever since he returned to WWE in 2022, one of the first things Cody hinted at was the idea of winning the WWE title and bringing it back to its winged eagle classic look. Like Cody even mentioned recently on Raw, he's done it in the past, so it's not really impossible. He did it with the Intercontinental title during his first run with WWE, where he tossed that title away and brought back the classic look of the title. So Cody pulling off the same thing with the WWE title isn't completely out of the realm of possibilities. Cody Rhodes recently appeared on WWE's The Bump, and continue to talk about the idea of bringing back the Winged Eagle WWE title. He had this to say, quote, Through my youth, the WWE that I was watching was really synonymous with the Winged Eagle. I think a lot of people love the Winged Eagle design. Some people love the Big Eagle, but the Winged Eagle was the one for me, and today's design with the giant W is also incredibly special because it's a walking billboard for the promotion. It was just a pipe dream. I post that and I don't want people to think I'm calling a shot. I don't want people to think I'm going into business for myself. The reality is, I was able to change the Intercontinental Championship once before and it seemed absurd. If I'm able to get to the finish line, the biggest WrestleMania of all time so far in Hollywood, if I'm able to get to the finish line and get my hands on these things that have eluded my family up until now, it would just be kind of a fun, maybe it's just a pipe dream, maybe it's just thought, a glimmer, but it would be fun to say, let's just boil them down and bring back the winged eagle. That is just me talking, end quote. So the idea of bringing back the classic title has been heavily teased by Cody Rhodes for two years now. He's still not promising that it will happen, but fans are still holding on to any glimmer of hope for the Winged Eagle title making its return to modern day WWE. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys.